Come see the Coney Island Side Show live on stage in our air cooled and comfortable auditorium. What in the world are you waiting for? Please don't attempt any of these acts we're going to see on the stage. Leave the insanity. Hi, I'm Dick Ziggin. I'm founder, producer, director of the Coney Island Circus Sideshow, which is the last authentic 10-in-1 circus sideshow that performs continuous admission all day long, a sideshow on the side of a circus, or in this case, on the side of Coney Island Amusement Park. Freaks, wonders, and human curiosities, they're here, they're real, and they're alive. I didn't even know what Sideshow was. I, like I kinda, I was still a musician in it. I just figured out that as a natural born, I could be a musician in, in a Sideshow. We are the last of a dying breed. You'll occasionally catch a traveling show from time to time, but we're one of the few standing, freestanding buildings left in the world that houses a legitimate sideshow. You, when you're here, no one looks twice at you. You're just, you're just family. I think we all just want to inspire people, and I think we want to give people that time away from their lives. We want to give them a time to play and like kind of get in touch with their inner child. Uh, go along this line of humor, but also informative. So like, if it's too informative, it's boring. But if it's too funny, they don't take it seriously. I try to make it that to where they just see that we're all just people up here trying to make them laugh. Their first look and impression of someone that looks different, maybe someone with a birth deformity, medical deformity, or just has facial tattoos or modifications. Don't judge them without getting to know them and don't assume we can't do anything. Strangers sight from the island, freaks from the four corners of the world. For two nickels, one dime, a tenth part of a dollar, we've got the show if you've got the dime. Sideshows are in New York City art form. Sideshows get going in Coney Island around the 1880s. In terms of the format of a continuous admission, 10 in one circus sideshow, that is a Coney Island refinement on what Barnum had, had started. Samuel Gumpert's Dreamland Circus Sideshow was the mother of all sideshows. That wasn't 10 acts in one, you might have gotten 25 acts. A uh, sideshow center for decades was Coney Island, where you had six different sideshows competing with each other, mostly on Surf Avenue, where other sideshows that would tour the country with carnivals or circus were cast out of Coney Island. And even this building, which is now a landmark and which we now own, not only has the history of our sideshow here, uh, but one of the big historic sideshows, the Wonderland Circus Sideshow, was in this building all through the 1950s to the early 60s. So in terms of a building still standing in America that has the most sideshow history, even this building is part of what we're all about. Sideshow is real. It's a real sword being swallowed. The fire eater doesn't eat cold fire. There is no such thing as cold fire. Everything you see in the sideshow is real. It is a feat. It is an amazing feat by talented people who practice and risk their lives every single time. We want to take over the world. We want to make what Americans like 
popular again in American culture. So yes, opera is important, Shakespeare is important, ballet is important, but defending American popular culture um, is what we are about and will continue to be about. And if your typical American teenager now has a lot of tattoos and a pierced tongue, blame us, please.